Hello and welcome back or welcome if you're new. If you're new here, my name is Elena. I'm the homeschooling mama to three kiddos. Here on the channel, we talk about everything from homeschooling to homemaking. As you can tell from the title, we're gonna um, talk planners today. I made a daily kind of planner. Um, not kind of, it is. <laughs> and I went ahead and I printed it two to a sheet so I could use it as kind of a half sheet. Let me bring you in closer. <clears throat> And I thought it would be kind of neat if I walked you through how um, we're gonna use it as dailies and a daily plan as I go. I printed it in black and white just to see how it would come out. I wanted to see using that. And then I also printed it in just the regular color. This is my paper. I didn't wanna waste the paper, so I just used it. So that's not part of the printable, but I'm just gonna fold it in half and then cut it. Like I said, I just printed two to a page and then I also printed front and back and I didn't use, I just use regular copy paper because that's what we have right now. I, I want to go get like a thicker, nicer paper, but you know, it's not high on the priority list right now, budget wise. So we'll make do with what we have. I'm just gonna, ooh, I probably could have cut that a little nicer too. So I think, I kinda wanna go back and forth between the color and the, do I? Let's try it. So I'm going to use the We Are Memory Keepers to hole punch and line it up. Let me get rid of this before I spill. to snip the edges here so that I can pull it in and out of my planner without opening and shutting the rings each time. And I'm going to add it into my catch-all planner here. If you've been around, you know that we are using um, a old Christian planner and I've cut it down and added it to my A5 Carpe Diem. This is what should be my current week. And as you can see, we've not even got to that yet. It's been, week just started. It's only Tuesday in real time, but I already know it's gonna kind of be that plan as I go. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's just add in Monday. And the things we did, Monday was April 22nd. And then I left room for the weather and my mood. And the, my idea behind this sheet was to just kind of capture some of the moments throughout the day. You could use it as a pre-planning daily, or you can come back up and wrap your day up, whichever you wanted to do. So we have room for you to circle the day of the week and then write your date, the weather, um, your overall mood. I know for me personally, it can change throughout the day, but my overall mood. And then um, up, on top, up on top, I've just included Colossians 117, and he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And then how, we've got this box here, how I saw God work today. I like to write down how I saw God work in my day, at least one or two things. I know he's doing so much more in my day, but notice that when I'm looking for these opportunities and when I'm asking him to show me, um, he's faithful to do that. And so I wanna write it down so that I can be more aware and get my brain kind of trained to pick up on these blessings and goodness that he's pouring out. And then we have a section for top three priorities. Here, I just named it intentions, um, and you can kind of create a little intention list or to-do list if you want. And then down at the bottom, it says ta-da list. Here is where I was thinking you could write either things that you were like, ta-da, finally got it done. Um, sometimes on my to-do list, I will do something and then come back in and write it down just for the satisfaction of crossing it off. So you could put that here, or you could do um, your daily wins, things that you were like, yeah, I got it done. And it can be things off this intention list. The whole point of this section though was just to, again, some brain training, getting your mind to pick up on, we've got some things we've gotten done, we are, doing good things and I'm just kind of getting those, I, I, I'm not using the right words, but just getting your brain to recognize these wins throughout your day. And then here on the side, you can either, if you have a daily schedule or you have, um, you want something timed or appointments, things like that, you can put it here, or you can just kind of do a recap of your day. 
as we go through this week. I'm not sure which way I'll use this, but let's, let's find out together. <laughs> so since I'm going to go ahead and do this for Monday and today is Tuesday, I didn't really, my top three priorities for Monday were, I wanted to ensure that I got Bible study in and then also um, homeschool Mondays are a little hard to get back into the rhythm of homeschool and get everybody back on track and doing that. So homeschool is a big thing, priority or focus for Mondays. And then also I wanted to get some intentional movement in and that's kind of what I've been calling um, instead of calling it a workout, I think, I don't know, my brain, we're just, we're just trying to be gentle with myself these days. I just want it to be intentionable, intentionable, <laughs> intentional movement with my body. So yesterday, what that ended up looking like was a 30 minute walk. And so that counted. I think when I say workout, my mind automatically wants to be like, if it's not a strength training, full on workout, it doesn't count. So then I'm just, like I said, trying to be gentler to myself and said, how about we just call it intentional movement? And that way it could be a little bit of anything. So those were the, the bigger picture things I wanted to do. Like I said, because we went ahead and um, it's already Tuesday, I'm just gonna kind of use this area as a recap and recap some of the things of my day. Okay, so I just kind of summarized our day. Um, I just wrote, it was a nice and sunny day we, I, that I was able to get out and work out. I did note that I didn't do any laundry. I tried to do a load a day, but I didn't get it done. Um, and just some other little like minor, major, I don't know, little highlights of the day. Um, I finished reading Fourth Wing. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw my reaction to that. If you don't, I will leave it linked down below. But it kind of was, I almost forgot that was like, took up a big portion of my day because I could not put the book down once. I just, I was determined to finish it. Um, so my intentions for the day, I don't know if I really had any other than finishing that book. Um, so I didn't, I didn't really have intentions. So on that part, I actually have some stickers here. I'm just going to cover it up with that little sticker. Today was awesome because it was, I didn't have really a big plans and intentions. My ta-da list, so um, wins or, you know, things that I was like, ta-da, I did it, <laughs> where I tried out a new, a new to me recipe. I'm gonna put in parentheses or in quotation, yeah, parentheses. I wanted to say quotations. <laughs> macros because it was a macro friendly meal. And so I did, I tried out a new recipe finally. Um, and so I wanted to write that down. What else did I do that was to that? I finished my book and I did get my walk in. So I got a walk in. Water, I track ounces, not by cups, but I went ahead and I listed the eight cups out. So what I'm gonna put here is just, I just barely missed my goal. Uh, my goal is 90 ounces right now and I did 80, but I mean, pretty darn close. And then how I saw God work today, man, there was a lot of blessings in yesterday, the sunny day. There was, um, a calm in the anxiousness when I felt myself getting riled up. Um, I could, I, I would say like a little breath prayer and I really could feel him calming me in it. And so those are just like little God winks or, you know, I don't know however you want to phrase it, but little God winks in the day. And that's it for Monday. So let's go on with Tuesday, which is today. So far, um, the weather has been pretty sunny. There are some slight clouds, but I'm gonna circle sunny and hope that it stays that way. My top three priorities for today are, I want to get that laundry I didn't get done, done. Um, and I'm gonna mark it here in well, as well in my intentions because it is a priority, but it's also something that's gonna go on my intentions list. I intend to get at least one load done. Um, the other thing too is still focusing on homeschool and getting back into our rhythm. Um, so sometimes, like I said, the beginning of the week can be kind of hard to get back into the swing of things. So homeschool is going to be, and again, with the intentional movement, that's going to be something else that is a priority for me today. Some days my priority is to just rest in the Lord. Some days my priority can just be, um, 
family and just focusing on really, really honing in and focusing in on that. It can change day to day and that's okay. And that's what I'm really trying to kind of retrain my brain to understand that um, while it is great to be productive and I love to be productive, sometimes it's okay to take a breather. So on a kind of a flip of that, let's go into the intentions for the day. And the reason that I call it intentions and not to do list is because this is what I intend to do. This is what I hope to do, but it is okay if it all doesn't get done. There's room for quite a bit in here, but sometimes the day just doesn't allow that. So my intentions are to get a load of laundry done. Um, I need to have a Monday meeting with my oldest because we did not get that done yesterday. So we're gonna have a Monday meeting on a Tuesday. Um, oh, I need to defrost the meat for dinner and tidy the living room. Oh, I also added get outdoors and tidy the living room. So that's what we have today. I do on today though, let's, let's come back to this little sticker thing I have here. Maybe I'll use one of these because I have an appointment just in the middle of the day that I don't want to forget about. Well, maybe we'll put appointments in here. I kind of don't forget. At two, I have an online meeting that I don't want to forget about. That's the only kind of timed thing we have and I don't believe we have any other like appointments or to do's to mark down. Oh, I do want to put in my intentions maybe to, um, to double check if there's anything I need to add to a grocery list or meal plan um, because it's got a little, we're running a little low as we get towards the end of the month here. Um, so I want to see if I can switch it up a little bit and kind of stretch it for the next week. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'll come back in um, and check in with you towards the end of the day and we can finish this up. I almost forgot to come back and finish this up, but I left it on my desk, so I didn't. So let's write out the ta-da list. What did we do today? I made dinner. <laughs> now, most nights I do make dinner, but tonight I honestly didn't know if it was gonna get done because I hit a wall somewhere in between and was so tired, but I did it. I got it done. Um, I transferred the laundry to the dryer. We didn't finish it, but I transferred it. So we did, we did a something, right? Part, part of a something. <laughs> I did end up doing this. We did do that. We did kind of do that. We did not touch that. That was only halfway. And oh, we did get the Monday meeting in. We did most of these things. So that's awesome. I could just transfer these here, but mentally these feel like bigger wins to me that because I think I was so tired and I was, yeah, I think that that's why these feel like bigger wins to me. And then another win um, today was we took some books over to a little free library we found. So we took some books, we cleaned up the little free library and we put our books in there. And yeah, that felt really nice to do. So we got that done. How I saw God work today um, in the sunshine. It really was a lovely day. And then I walked with my daughter today. So that was really sweet too. That was a sweet time. For most of the day, we were in a good mood. So let's do that. I only put this 2 p.m. online meeting. I did do it, but I feel like I'm spelling attended wrong. So arrived late, but still attended. So that was good. Um, I think I need my phone to figure out how much water I have, but I think I drank all my water. So, and then I just kind of recapped a little bit of today and things that I worked on. So that's it. I'm going to put this into my planner that I think is somewhere else. And then we'll get going with tomorrow. Okay. It is Wednesday, but today I feel like I kind of want to decorate a little bit. So I'm going to do that.
Okay, let's wrap up today. I didn't end up doing a slow cooker meal, but that was okay because we actually had leftovers. We usually don't, but we did. And the kids just did an easy lunch of chicken nuggets for lunch. Um, I didn't finish filling in the don't forget because it's kind of um, personal information, but I didn't forget what I didn't want to forget. So that's super great. I did get my macro set for the day. Yay! I did do measurements and check-in that I do today, and I even updated the budget. So yay me. Um, on my to-do list, I am going to um, write down, I actually got strength training workout in. I've been trying to get this back into the gym for a while, and yay, I did it! So excited about that and then I also I also got I got the bills paid um so this and this also got done but it's kind of like more a tada I got the budget a specific part of our budget updated so I'm just gonna write budget updated because I'll know in my mind that that was something I have been procrastinating on and I finally got it done so I'm super excited about that and I even found some time today to get some editing done so I'm glad that I got that done as well and I just before I turn the camera on finished up my water so like I said I count in ounces but I just figured I would use these as 10 ounces and I got all my water in and it was another good day. So I'm gonna put that in there. A little God wink or how I saw God work today. I was able to chat with a friend about some things that we both are learning that we feel like we are being led to and taught about. And so that was nice to have community in that sense. So I'm actually going to start prepping this for tomorrow because tomorrow I think is gonna be a little bit of a busier day. So tomorrow is Thursday. And it is the 25th. So there are a couple of things that I want to do. And I have these. These are from, I think they were from Happy Planner when they were selling them in these little rolls. But this is just a timed, oh, it's all rolled up. It just has the time and it breaks it down from 7 to 12. And then the other one is from 1 to 6. But our evening, I don't, or afternoon, evening, don't think will be as busy as the morning. That's when I really want to concentrate. So I'm going to go ahead and put this sticker down and see if it'll work a little better or if it'll work on the layout here. I've never, I didn't try it. I didn't line it up for anything in particular. But mark a few things down that just in my brain will help me organize and get stuff done. Um, we have some special appointments tomorrow and I think that's why I want to make sure that I'm lining it out in my head time-wise. I think I'll make my kids some pancake muffins in the morning. They're kind of fairly easy enough. Instead of flipping pancakes, I just put them in muffin liners and we, we cook them that way. So I think we'll do that and then we will have time to get some homeschool work done. I'm gonna put it down here because our morning is gonna break because of these appointments. I, told, I usually I try to just like make sure we're getting school done or we plan appointments on slower days, but it's getting next to never where I can do that. So <laughs> I wanna make sure that we get that in in the morning. And I think that'll kind of put me on a better game plan. Intentions for tomorrow, I need to do a load of laundry. I would like to do a load of laundry that would help our home. Um, I also, I think we're going to do towels. I'm going to mark that down too. So when I'm like, what should we do? I'm going to do some towels. I also want to, I want to walk. I don't know if I'll get to walk outside, but at some point I want to walk. I don't know that I'll be able to do like a full workout too. Um, I have a feeling that these appointments kind of might drain us. So I have a meaning to meal plan for the next week. We're getting towards the end of the month and it is getting close. So put that down. My top, my priorities, where my focus needs to be, is just, um, just wrote smile, it will work out. I just wanna stay focused on being positive. I don't wanna be oblivious, but I, like, I wanna make sure that we're seeing the brighter side of things too. So that's it and just kinda of go with the flow of the day. Sometimes when we have too much, it can kinda of 
overwhelmingly quickly. So I just wanted to get some thoughts down before tomorrow starts and then we'll finish it up tomorrow. Okay, Thursday night, let's wrap it up. We got this done, that done. I ended up doing baked oatmeal for breakfast instead. And then we ran to eat a little mini grocery run for bananas and lunch meat. Nothing exciting, <laughs> but we needed a couple of things. And then we came home because today was a cloudy day and there was like a little thunder and lightning. That's my small attempt at thunder there. I did end up walking on the walking pad. So we have a little walking pad. So I did get that done, but I did not get laundry done. So I'm gonna make an arrow to remind me to do it for tomorrow. That we really need to get that done. How I saw God work today, we had um, a good appointment and safe travels. We had some thunder and lightning, of course, only when we were traveling. <laughs> So, um, but our appointment ended up going really well and then we had some safe travels. My to-do list, I ended up walking on the walking pad even though I have been wanting to walk outside. So I got some movement and steps in. I'm just gonna jot down that we had what we had for dinner so I can track that. I did get all my water in, so yay. Um, so I did, we're gonna put that on our to-do today too because I hit my macro goals hit macros and water goals. And then lastly, I'm just gonna mark it down here as prayer um, and release because God really worked on something with me today and I was able to have some movement in releasing some things I've been holding on to. And so I'm really, I'm really grateful for that. So I'm going to mark that down as well. And then that's it for Thursday. And then I'm going to catch you guys up tomorrow morning. I'm not going to set up Friday yet because I'm hoping that we'll just be home tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to do Monday through Friday. And then on Friday, I decided I was going to decorate again. I printed out some florals on like half the size that they were meant to be printed, just so it would fit a little better on the daily pages. And I kind of took my time with it because we were having a slower morning and I was just enjoying having coffee and relaxing at home in the morning, just trying to slowly move into our weekend. So I just decorated a little bit more um, than usual. And I really liked the way the florals looked. It is actually the next day. We didn't get to finish up Friday because we got home kind of late, but um, because we ended up having like a family outing, we had a whole thing. So it was, it was good for good reasons. Um, so we were in a really good mood yesterday and my water 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I only got to 70 two. <laughs> we'll do that. And then how I saw God work today, which would have been yesterday. Um, we had safe travels. There was rain and just, we had a distance to go. And so I'm, I'm thankful for that. Um, I also, so that's probably going to sound where I don't know if you could see it from the distance here. Um, but I wrote, I wrote unexpected hugs, not from people I didn't know. So, um, not like strangers were coming up and hugging me, but just from people that I was like, oh, are we at that? Are we at that friendship level? <laughs> and um, it was, it was, it was nice. It was nice to be like, I, I hope we can be better friends. And anyways, that was just some God shots or little God winks throughout the day. Laundry, I did not get that done. Um, filmed the to be read, I did. Um, May goals, I did not, but I did do, I did some filming from the May planner pages. So my Tada list, I got some filming done. I did not get my workout in, but I did get walking on our walking pad done. And I'm going to mark that down because I was able to get my steps in. At least I hit that goal, right? And so that was kind of a ta-da win for me. And then let's put one more down. I'm going to write fun family night because we did have a fun evening. And I let myself relax and kind of go more with the flow for the evening, which is, can be hard for me. So we're gonna mark that down. I'm just gonna do some little journaling here for a second. Okay, 
And that's gonna finish out our week. Sorry, you in shot here. There we go. So I just did some journaling. As you saw, I kind of decorated for the last day here up here. Instead of um, putting intentions, I put a sticker over it and I put some ideas of things that I've been kind of turning around and wanting to create. And then I got some of our intentions done, some I didn't, but that's okay. And then my to-do list. And that's gonna do it for the week. Here's a quick flip of what we did. We went through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, sorry, it's loud in here. Thursday was pure functional, it looks like, and then Friday. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and getting this plan as I go done with me. Again, I will link the, um, if you want to print out some of these templates yourself, I'll link them down below for you. And in case you don't know, or just need a reminder, maybe the one to tell you, you are deeply and truly loved and so, so appreciated. I really appreciate you taking your time out and spending it here with me. Thanks for watching.